So to complete the statistics on amino acid occurrence, let's look at that C alpha C beta bond again. Again, do you see here that there is a systematic pattern where the bond is pointing, the first bond out from the alpha helix is always pointing towards the N terminus. This will lead to many systematic differences I already mentioned, in particular that it's going to be easier for things to snorkel out from the N terminus, but it's also going to be easier to snorkel in from the C terminus. You don't necessarily have to believe me there. There's a lot of statistics we've been able to do with PDB structures, just calculating average sequences. You can also calculate average occurrences. Where in a helix do things tend to occur? Do they occur in an N terminus or C terminus? And this pretty much bears out. So this is not just based on simple models, but a ton of statistics from the protein data bank.